guys uh, welcome to my channel um well if you're new here welcome welcome and if you're back thank you so much for visiting again today i have something very different uh to to what i normally show so this is nothing that's related to diamond painting and also it's nothing related to cross stitch surprise surprise <laughs> So I have a new craft uh, that I, well actually I tried it before once and that was like back before my channel first started, that was maybe like May, beginning of May I think. Um, so back then I was inspired by another creator, uh, so it was Lindsay from Life with, with blah. <laughs> <laughs> life with Lindsay uh, so Lindsay at that point she just ordered a kit um, for beginners to do crochet and it was a crochet like amigurumi Am amigur I think that's how you call it amigurumi right? <laughs> the Japanese type where you make like small like you can well they don't have to be that small but like they you know like big or small um animals or or um you can also make like um you know like human kind of like 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 <laughs> like characters oh this is going well uh so it's so like characters out of crochet so you can make all sorts of things really and they're super cute and i always used to think that to make these uh you have to be like really skilled um like you have to have experience and know how to crochet and all that and i had no idea about any of it uh, but Lindsay said she's never done any and she said that she just ordered something that was completely beginner friendly and i thought oh that's exciting uh you know i never thought that you could just do it like as a beginner and so i started looking into it and I found a company that's based in the UK that's called um, the Wee Woolly, Wee Woolly Wonderfuls. I link them below in the description. And the Wee Woolly Wonderfuls specialize in making like in, in these kits and also that well they do patterns uh, but kits as well um, that include everything and they're completely beginner friendly and um basically these are kits to make like different types of animals and um, you know so, so they're very very cute things and they they have their website and they're also on etsy and initially i was very skeptical because i'm not um, i'm very clumsy and i've got like two left hands basically so i was like yeah that's never gonna work um but then i saw some reviews on etsy and people were saying oh yes yes i'm a complete beginner and it was so easy i could, could totally do it uh, so I was like really surprised that actually people were able to do it as complete beginners and I thought okay Maybe I should try that as well, right? So so I went for it and I ordered one kit from them and um, Well, it arrived super quickly um, And then so so because they're based in the UK So so it was a good store to order from me and I started it immediately. I spent one evening basically swearing um, <laughs> swearing profoundly um, and uh, throwing yarn around and then pulling my hair out um, and I was like yeah that's not gonna work um, so they have these videos that you can uh, so they, they post videos on YouTube uh, with like um, all the main instructions for like all the main steps of the project so like the beginning of the project or if you start any new part of the animal and how then to connect the parts together they have videos for everything for every kit that they sell um, but the thing is, I got stuck at the very beginning. <laughs> and I couldn't, I couldn't start. I was trying to follow the video, and I felt so stupid. Um, but then, after many, many, many attempts, uh, eventually, I started making some progress. And uh, within like less than a week, I managed to make this. Yay! Hello, hello. Um, yes. Yeah, so my rainbow giraffe. Uh, she's not perfect, um, definitely not perfect, uh, but she is the cutest thing, you know, I think she may be the cutest thing that I've ever made, honestly, because I can't make things, like, this is, this is, like, an achievement for me, this is a huge achievement that, that, you know, she's super cute, I think. Yay! <laughs> so I thought after that success, it didn't take long. Actually, once I got started, um, it it was actually super easy to like to follow the instructions because it was just the beginning. Uh, then I kept losing count of the stitches, uh, but then it's not so bad because you can kind of rewind or even sometimes if you miss one stitch um, on on projects like that, it doesn't matter too much. It's like it's fixable. So um, yeah, so I finished the giraffe. And I promised myself that I was going to do another one at some point. 
And today I've got an unbagging because I finally ordered another one. There's a new release, it's a Halloween project. And I thought, oh, that's the one that I want. Because so far I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure if I want that one or not. But this one, when I saw it released, I was like, this is super cute. And I totally want to try this one out. Uh, so I'm going to unbag it for you guys now. So I'm going to turn the camera around and yeah, okay, right, see you there. <laughs> Okay, here we go guys. So as, as I said, I'm in the UK, so um, this is how the kit is delivered uh, for me at least with the, so, so it's been delivered by Royal Mail, uh, which is just a postal service in the UK. I don't know if they ship internationally, you would need to ask them directly because I have no idea. I prefer to order from a UK based seller because the shipping costs from the US are very high, so I can imagine it's the same going the other way around, uh, but it's always worth asking. If you'd be interested um, but anyway they also sell patterns so if you wouldn't want the whole kit you would just like the patterns the videos are still there on YouTube as well for you to see uh, so you could then just get all your own yarn and filling you know wherever you are in the world and that would probably be easier that way for me I can order the whole kit very easily uh, the delivery I can't remember if uh, maybe it was a couple of pounds um, delivery for the Royal Mile but it wasn't, it definitely wasn't expensive and it arrived uh, within 48 hours from ordering. So that's all great. Uh, so I've, I've turned it around so that you can't see my address and now I'm just going to cut into it. So I think there's nothing here, so I'm just going to cut this bit. Yeah, I think... Just, I don't like cutting into things. Well, I'm not sure what's inside. Okay, there we go. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Right. <laughs> so so it all comes packaged in this lovely lovely bag uh, which is the wee woolly wonderfuls this is the name of the shop the wee woolly wonderfuls bag yay um and so so they've got this is their logo with the cute little bunny and they they gave me also a little thank you note and they said uh, they did the same thing last time that they've added a baby pattern as well so uh, the main design is quite big like you saw for the giraffe uh, but they also add a free baby pattern for like a smaller version I haven't that done I haven't done that uh, for my previous one but I've got the pattern so um, you know that's nice that um, I can do that as well okay so I don't want to show you the pattern accidentally, so I just need to be a little bit careful about here. So I'm just going to remove it for now. Um, oh, okay, that's a surprise. Oh, that's a surprise. So, oh, so this is different because last time when I had the giraffe, they gave me also a baby giraffe pattern. I'm quite sure they gave me a baby giraffe pattern. I'm guessing for this design, they may not have a baby version yet. So they actually gave me a baby unicorn free pattern ha how amazing and you know what i actually have wool still left over from my first project so i could maybe use that wool to make that little pattern as well how amazing would that be no <laughs> oh how exciting Sorry there, if I made a little cut, I accidentally opened the pattern, so I, um, just to make sure that I'm not showing you the pattern, I, I had to make a little cut in the video, so, so just, <laughs> just just ignore me in case if, if it gets weird in the video. Uh, but yes, but it's, I, just, I was just going to say that it's super kind of them to add this extra free baby unicorn pattern. I really, really appreciate the fact that they've added that. Um, and uh, yes, I don't want to show you too much of it but I can just maybe show you that they give you pictures within the pattern itself and they also um, so, so basically they tell you they direct you to where the videos are so that you can uh, find out the instructions online as well for for the specific elements of the projects that may be a bit more tricky for a beginner okay but now let's let's just have a look at the main pattern that i've ordered uh so we can see already some wool <laughs> rolled out of the bag and it's it's so cute it's so cute i love the pinks and purples as uh, so you can see it's like a variegated kind of yarn uh so basically it's not one color across it was the same for the giraffe for the giraffe i had this rainbow wool uh, so basically all of this is the same the same yarn or wool whatever whatever this is called um, but it's the same strand it's just it changes colors uh, as you go along which is really cool and this is a similar idea 
Um, and then, so, so this is, so we have two different, I think it's two different uh, types of um, yarn. It is yarn, no? Um, <laughs> I never know what to call things. But yeah, so we have these two different, different types of yarn. It's super soft. It's really nice, really. I love this color as well. This this lovely purpley, like light purple color. It's called special chunky, chunky yarn. Um, so you can see it's acrylic. Um, yeah. So basically, that's that's about it. I don't know what else to say about it. And what else? What else do we have in the bag? So again, we have another pattern, and I can show you. Well, the main page. So this is what I want to make. <laughs> How cute is that? So this is Bella Boo the bat. <laughs> Bella Boo the bat. Um, so I think if it's Bella, it's a hair, it's a she. Um, but of course you can make it into a him, I'm sure. Um, and um, she or he is, is the cutest, cutest bat. Uh, honestly, I love, I love this bat so much. Uh, so you can see that that wool goes into the wings and into the ears as well. Uh, super cute, super cute. Uh, and then there's some more pictures in the back as well. Uh, it's all on their website, um, but I saw these pictures and I was like, oh, I want to make this bat. I definitely want to try and make this one. I'm a little bit worried about the wings because that looks like something new um, that I've never made before. Uh, but they say that they have videos for the wings. So I'm hoping that if I can make... If I could make the giraffe, I'm hoping that I can make the wings as well. We'll see about that though. <laughs> we'll see. I'll keep you posted, guys, definitely. So what else is in the bag? Well, we get we get these little accessories. Um, so we get some black um, black thread or black wool. Uh, that's for the eyes. So so that's that's to make the eyes. Um, yeah. So some black wool with some uh, a big big needle. Uh, a wool kind of needle. Then we also get like these, um, I forgot what they're called now. They like these little markers that you can use uh, to mark where you are, like mark your first stitch so that you don't lose your first stitch basically. So it's, it's like a marker. Um, it's all, they explain it all in the instructions and in the video as well. Uh, but you basically use it to mark your where you are in your project. And then also uh, you get another marker, which has a bat on it. So last time I got a giraffe one, this time I got a bat. That is super cute, super cute. Yeah, so we've got these two. Um, I guess you could use it, on, you know, you could put it on anything. You could put it on your scissors or on anything you like. Um, and then of course we need the hook so they provide you with a hook as well that's suitable for the type of yarn that you use in this project as well which is great in this case it's a four millimeter hook and it looks um, but i know if i don't know if it's the same it looks the same like the one um that i had last time but the, the it may have been a different size hook i'm not sure i can't remember what size the other hook was i still have it somewhere uh, i just haven't used it really and then finally you get the filling or stuffing or whatever you call this thing. The thing that you put inside your, your teddy, your, the thing that you make. Um, and they have this like really nice one. I don't know where they get it from and I don't know what it's called. But it's uh, made of these little balls. And it's super nice because like you can, it, it's not like clumpy. It's not clumpy at all. You you can take as much of it as you need and you just like uh, stuff it inside your animal. And it, um, I think it like fills in all the little gaps. Like it's it's quite nice to fit in into like narrow bits. Like like for example, the giraffe had horns and, and um, she also had like these small feet and stuff uh, or like the, the paws. Uh, and it was nice like you could fit it into every small gap. Um, so, and it, it's like, it, I think it's like really nice it doesn't make any clamps or anything. So I really like this feeling that they provide as well. And that's really everything that comes in this kit. Um, so I think that's everything that you may need to make this little project. 
Um, and I'm super, super excited to make this bat and I will definitely let you know how I get on. Uh, so I will probably show it on my floss tube when I finish it or, or I may just make a very small video uh, just to show you guys how it turned out. Uh, so yeah, I hope that, you know, maybe so, some of you are also like me, tempted to try some, some new crafts and, and tempted to work on some small projects, you know, from crochet or whatever else, you know, interests you. But I hope that maybe this has inspired someone or maybe, you know, m maybe you, you just like to try it, um, you know, just for fun. Um, I don't know, so I'm hoping that this video was useful for you. I just wanted to share this with you because I got really excited about this project and because, um, you know, I love sharing all, all crafty things on this channel with you guys. Anyway, let me know in your uh, in the comments uh, what you think and whether you do any crochet or amigurumi uh, or, you know, um, whether you've ever tried this company or, you know, whether you're planning to do it ever. Uh, and if yes, then let me know what projects you've worked on. I'd, I'd love to hear what projects you work on, you, what animals or whatever else you, you've stitched before, I'd love to hear. Anyway, well, I'm gonna let you go now, but thank you so much for joining me for this short video and I hope to see you soon in my next video, yeah? <laughs> okay guys, thank you so much for watching, bye now!